Okay, so continuing with the second subtopic 4.2 that is functional groups and homologous series. So what are they? So these are our, uh, our learning objectives. Panjang betul bachelor sendiri. Stress je tengok. <laughs> okay, tak banyak sangat pun. Okay, tak banyak pun sini. So first of all, what is functional group you've heard of functional group before kan or the belajar during um form 4 and form 5 i think so functional group is an atom or a group of atoms in an organic molecule which determines its chemical and physical properties so maksudnya your functional group will determine how your um Molecule will react in a reaction, okay? So, it will serve as a basic for naming organic compounds using IUPAC naming. This is like um, the standard way to name your molecules. And then, it will also um, tell us the site of a chemical reaction. So, maksudnya... Where will chemical chemical reaction take place in your molecule? Okay, so this is just a layout of how you should um structure your notes. Okay, but like I didn't draw it in this format to show you. So these are the different functional groups that you can have. So the first one, the first one. Is the most basic one you have the class of your molecule it is an alkene and the functional group for alkene is nothing <laughs> so you don't have any functional groups for alkene because alkene um, is only your hydrocarbon your alkyl group so here you have CH4 so this is the general formula so basically you want carbon if you have one carbon, then you will have two times one plus two hydrogens. Okay, tahu kan? So here you have alkene. Alkene meaning you have um carbon carbon double bond. C N H two N is the general formula, and this is an example of alkene. All right. So when you are showing your functional groups, you will show you will show. Uh, you will circle, okay, your double bond for alkene alkyne it is a triple bond so you must show carbon triple bond carbon arene is an aromatic ring or benzene okay so here is your benzene for example this molecule is a methyl benzene and here you have hello alkene hello alkene um where you have your halogen at the end okay so, for example, you have Cl here, chloroethene. Okay, continuing, you have alcohol, alcohol or the functional group phenol. Okay, so basically you have this um, OH at the end. Okay, ethanol, ether or alkoxy, that means that it is actually carbon, oxygen carbon. Carbon, oxygen, carbon. So, maksudnya dia mesti diapit. Okay. So, you're going to circle the function group like that. Aldehyde. Aldehyde. It looks like this. Or, kalau skeletal, dia nampak macam ni. Ni R group, alkyl group. And it has hydrogen at the end. Or ethanol. Okay, the suffix. Or, another carbonyl. You have is ketone so ketone it is almost like aldehyde but it is you don't have hydrogen at the end you have another alkyl group okay okay so the name will have a, will have a suffix of un propanon okay okay ni carboxylic acid cooh Okay, you had you know ethanoic acid acyl chloride acyl acyl is a functional group 
means that you have a um, carbonyl campur dengan halogen. Okay, so nama dia akan jadi acyl function group right here. Here you have amide class molecule. So the functional group is still amide. Okay, it is a C double bond O plus an apni amine, if I'm not mistaken. So the whole thing will be called amide functional group. So you're going to circle it like so. Okay, ethanamide. Okay, ester. Pernah kan, awak pernah buat ester tak dekat sekolah dulu? Sabun yang wangi tu. So, ester is a C double bond O and then O C. Okay. So, it is made up of apa? Alcohol, campur apa tak? Saya dah lupa. I think carboxylic acid. And then you will have the name coming from those two um, reactants lah. Ethyl ethanoate. Okay. So, mana satu functional group dia for ester? It will be COO CH3. Macam tu. Okay. <clears throat> so, here we have anhydride. So, this is um, your functional group. Okay. So, this is ethanoic anhydride. Amine. NH2, the amino functional group, its name will be, for this molecule, will be methanamine, meth, meth, methanamine, methanamine, okay? So, here, your functional group is this one, the whole thing. Okay, one more, you have nitrile, or the cyano. Functional group C triple bond N. This is a toxic, okay, toxic class molecule. So if you find it in the lab, jangan hirup dia, unless you want to come. Nothing, okay. So this is the functional group ethene nitrile. Okay. So those are your nila, the different functional groups that you have. Okay, different class of molecules. Okay, make sure to make a very nice table for all of this. Okay, nice table. Okay, in on the paper. Okay, because nanti awak punya apa tu nama dia? Assignment pasal benda ni lah. So make sure jangan ambil ringan eh. So let's do example one. Here we have a few. Compounds, so they want you to circle and name the functional groups, and then classify them. So it has for different functional groups, our other um class this and D. Okay, so let's look at the first molecule here. Okay, what can you identify? Ini adalah um apa ni? Alkene kan? Sampai sini, alkene. You don't have any fung. You don't consider any functional group. So, what functional group do we have? Is it a carbonyl? But you have this carbonyl attached to this NH2 with this amine. So, that means that you are going to circle this whole thing and call this after. This will be considered the amide functional group. With what class? A my class, okay. All right, B. B, you have this cyclic ring. You have this cyclic ring with an alkene right here, and here you have a methyl group. So what will you consider? So since alkene awak tak kira, ni pun kira alkene ni. You are going to consider this as your. This is your functional group, okay? So what? Function group is this. This will be carbon, carbon, double bond. Allah. Okay, carbon, carbon, double bond. C. CH3O, CH2, CH3. Okay, 
Can you like see this uh, molecule clearly? Tak nampak kan? So what you're gonna do is You better draw the expanded structure Atau any of the other structure Macam skeletal skeletal structure tu okay? So how will it look like? It will look like CH3O Maksudnya awak ada CH3 kat sini So awak ada oxygen So awak ada C with 2H, CH2 And then awak ada CH3 Okay. What what class of molecule is that? What function group is that? Since it is a C O C, this will be al al coxi. Okay. So what class? It is an ether. Okay. The function group is C O C. The class is ether. All right. Okay, try doing the rest yourself. Okay, kita masuk homologous series pula. So, what is homologous series? What does homologous series mean? It is a series of compounds that have the same functional group. Contohnya, macam awak ada um, carbon-carbon double bond. Okay. So, if two molecules have the same functional group, it is considered a homolog part of a homologous series whereby each member differs from the next by a constant CH2 unit okay so what does that mean it looks like this contoh if you have an alkane you start from the simplest alkane it is a uh, methane okay so C2H6 here is part of the homologous series of alkane because daripada awak punya um, basic CH4 You add CH2 Unit To CH4 And you will get C2H6 So you have CH4 Followed by C2H6 Lepas tu tambah lagi CH2 You will get C3H8 Okay So these three and so on um, Is considered A homologous series of alkenes Same as alkene right here You will start from um, ethene Okay Because alkene maksudnya Awak kena ada dua carbon At least So that means Macam ni Ni ethene awak Then you add another subunit of CH2 And then you will get C3H6 And then campur lagi You get C4H8 Okay And this is alcohol Sama lah juga kes dia Awak tambah lagi CH2 Okay Okay So this some, some of the common features of the members of a particular homologous series is that they have the same general formula, okay, yang C, sorry, C and H2 and plus 2, contoh, for alkene. Then they have the same functional group, i.e. have the same chemical properties. That means that it will react the same way since it has the same functional group, Okay. Contoh apa? Kalau alkin, alkin tak ada lah. Kalau if, uh, kalau alkin, maksudnya dia ada C double bond, C, carbon carbon double bond. Okay. Next, the physical properties change gradually as the number of carbon atoms increase. So ini um depending on the number of carbon atoms. Okay. How will uh, the state of your molecule change? Then the successive members Apa maksud successive? Of a series differs by CH2 group Successive maksudnya um, You have one and then the next one Okay, the next one, the next one Successive Okay, yang seterusnya Okay, contoh here You have the alkene homologous series Okay, so basically you are adding Allah You are adding uh, CH2 Okay as you go down this homologous series here Okay So your The name of your molecule Dia akan berubah Dia punya prefix Okay So here dah tunjuk Contoh ni awak boleh recall balik lah It starts with meth, Methane Ethane Propane Pasal apa? Empat Carbon Butane And then Pentane What else? Hex 
and then heptene and then octane let's do ah cari lah yang lagi dua tu okay alright so alkenes and cycloalkenes cyclo maksudnya you have a cyclic okay whatever cyclic you can have gini belong to the same class same class of compound but different homologous series way oh why because these two alkenes and cycloalkenes okay they have the same function group which is alkene okay so they belong in the same class of compound but 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 they have different general formula okay therefore they are in different homologous series so, dia punya general formula tak sama tengok ni. Okay. The homologous series are different. Alkene dengan cycloalkene. Okay. Different. Okay. So, cyclo ni maksudnya is a prefix for cyclic ring compounds. Macam ni yang saya tunjuk ni. Ni pun kira ni lah. Ni cyclic. Okay. Apa lagi? Tambah lagi. Macam tu. Buruk betul. Okay. So, that's about it. Alright, so end of 4.2 functional groups and homology series. Okay, so maksudnya you can already do tutorial questions from number 4 to number 5 lah. So chapter 4, by right you finish daripada number 1 to number 5. Okay, alright, thank you guys. Bye-bye. Stay strong.